This report includes graphic content. Viewer discretion is advised. The last moments of Robert Chikansky, captured by a bystander. It's one in the morning and he's holding a folding table at the door to the arrivals area of Vancouver Airport. He's exhausted, confused and breathing heavily. After arriving from Poland on his first ever plane ride, he's been waiting 10 hours for his mother, who told him to wait in the baggage area. But she couldn't go in there, couldn't get a message to him and finally went home after being told he never arrived. A bystander tries to calm Jakansky down, but he doesn't understand. Then he picks up a computer and throws it. Oh. Then he throws a stool at the glass. A security man appears, but they can't communicate. Another bystander says we need an interpreter here. Speaks Russian and nobody can help. But the RCMP arrive, and before they get near Jakansky, one officer asks another, may I taser him? And the answer is yes. As the Mounties approach, a bystander tells them the man speaks no English. He speaks Russian, and that's it. No English. For a moment, the four Mounties try to talk to Jakansky, but it's no good. He seems to shrug and move away, and that is when he is tasered with 50,000 volts of electricity. <laughs> falls and is tasered again. The Mounties pile on top of him as he writhes and moans. At this point, the man behind the camera becomes concerned. Probably the most disturbing part is one of the officers uses his leg and his knee to pin his neck and his head against the ground. Within moments, Jakansky loses consciousness. We showed the tape to retired Superintendent Ron Foyle, a 33-year veteran of the Vancouver police. I don't know why it ever became a police incident. It, it didn't seem that he made any threatening gestures toward him. Before the video became public, the RCMP claimed that Jakansky fought with them. Now that the video's been returned to its owner and he's made it public, the RCMP say it's not the whole story. But it's only one piece of evidence and it's one person's view. It's through the viewfinder of one individual. But for Jakansky's mother, the video shows the taser is too dangerous. That, that uh, weapon taser, they should do something because that is killer people killer. There will now be several investigations by the coroner, by the RCMP, by the RCMP Complaints Commission, and all of that will take many months. But for Robert Jakansky's mother, the verdict is already in that her son died for nothing. Tony Malewski, CBC News, Vancouver.